everybody, the Toy Man 52 back with another toy review and today I'm going to be reviewing the Batman Platinum Edition. This is when Batman has his goggles up and you know th this is one of those exclusive items that McFarlane makes and is always extremely hard to get. I was not fortunate enough to find this in stores. I gave in to the scalpers and I bought it, you know. But, I mean, in the end, it kind of becomes worth it instead of just driving store to store for hours on end. And I just kind of got over it. And, honestly, life's been so much more happier. Because, you know, a few extra bucks, whatever, goes away. Uh, but I've enjoyed a lot more time doing things like this, making video reviews instead of spending the time in stores. So, back of the packaging is going to be standard on how you've seen Batman with the regular release. It's not anything special so far. Um, nothing really too crazy, you know. Uh, has the sticker, and I'll just probably keep the box, but uh, I usually don't keep my boxes, at least for uh, McFarlane, because that's what I use the cards for. All right, so now here is the Batman platinum edition outside the box and of course the figure itself is like exactly the same the only thing that was different with this batman is you know the goggles were up and this is the best uh head sculpt that they did do for batman uh compared to the other three and i will show that comparison but very nice uh, i i just i love i love the the detailing, the eyes aren't messed up. Um, you know, you know, most of it's going to be the same. But you know, here's just that one little part that matters so much, and th this is where uh, McFarlane was able to do the best Batman. But it also kind of sucks that this was the hardest of the bunch. And now the Batman does come with you know the stand that everyone hates. I mean, I hate it. Uh, and then he comes with. One Batarang. I believe the other ones came with like a grapple gun too or something. But this is just the Batarang. And then he got his card. And it's just standard. It's There's nothing special about it. No aluminum foil. Uh, I think McFarlane kind of gave up on that idea uh, with their plats. So this is just regular. Like there's, there's nothing really special with uh, the accessories with this one I, I'd suppose okay so here is Batman now the platinum edition next to his other versions he had the unmasked on the left and the goggles down on the right and you know when you look at all of them you know it's, it's no-brainer the, the platinum one uh, is the best head sculpt you know it's probably also because it's the most closest traditional look to Batman and yeah and obviously we know Tommy Farm loves to do Batman constantly so he just kind of keeps redoing him. <laughs> uh, and I know like some fans are definitely over Batman. I, I certainly am. Uh, and seeing three same Batman costumes when Batman wears two, you know, suits in the movie. They even like, I think they even show it in the back of the box. That's his other costume he had earlier in the movie. But whatever. I'm sure McFarlane's going to be doing that one eventually down the line too. But up close, let's just... Just for all the fans to see here, you know, uh, those are the heads. And you can decide which one you like the best. I, I go with Platinum. All right, and here is Batman now next to Ben Affleck's other uh, comic book hero that he portrayed. He was Daredevil like in 2003. And he obviously made a vast improvement to uh, the superhero world, you know, Ben Affleck, he, he really did own Batman, I think, and I was actually very happy that they did, uh, get him as Batman, and Daredevil didn't ruin it that much for him to be able to get Batman, I did enjoy Bat, uh, Daredevil as well, you know, obviously I was a little kid, so, uh, I just kind of grew up liking it and remained that way, but, you know, uh, yeah, that, that's, uh, you know, it's kind of funny how you can, look at an actor and he's done a couple rows and he's got a few action figures you know obviously ryan reynolds has green lantern and deadpool so it's kind of cool that we get a version with ben affleck both as daredevil and batman and obviously they both show his like lower chin area so you get a full ben affleck vibe to it 
All right, so now here is Batman giving Toy Man here a knuckle sandwich, you know, because uh, Toy Man's being a prick. He doesn't like what he's saying about certain things, and he wants to give him a knuckle sandwich, right? So that's that, and I'll probably be doing some more things like this where Toy Man's just getting his ass kicked in future videos. So, you know, obviously you guys have seen my uh, other videos. I mean, I know I didn't really go over articulation too much, but, you know, double knees... Uh, double elbows, that sort of thing. And it looks really nice. You know, they got a very nice posability with Batman here. He can do a lot. And it doesn't look too ugly either. I, I think uh, they did a pretty good job here. Uh, this is my favorite thing with, you know, McFarlane. He's, he just really gets that articulation down. And he's got great style of capes. Very nice and soft. Uh, but, you know, I, I already kind of did comparisons with the other Batman uh, video review. So this one I'm just kind of going to cut short. All right, well, that's all I have to say about Batman here. Hopefully this did make you guys decide if you want him or not. I don't think it's the best platinum figure we've gotten. Uh, very minimal done to him, you know, the same colors and everything. Just really the, the head was different. Like, I did not uh, see uh, a difference whatsoever, uh, you know, even just to just make sure, you know, hey, yeah, there's there's really no, there's no uh, paint difference kind of was hoping that maybe it would be just on the more darker side or something uh but i mean hey that is what it is uh but overall i hope this did help you guys decide if you want to get them or not i mean <sighs> aftermarket prices are are like meh with this like it sucks obviously uh and it's only just a new head and i wish that mcfond would just kind of add in extra heads to uh each of these packs and and kind of keep it going so the figure itself is like it's great but the way it's released and the way mcfarland's kind of conducting how to do platinum figures and getting these extra heads and i'm just saying like i don't think this is a uh a good strategy i i, I really don't think it's something that people really needed and, and obviously it's it's it is an exclusive and you don't have to get it but you know there's people out there that do want to just make it easy and get it and then call it quits and that's what i'm doing i'm just calling it quits and i'm just ordering offline i'm tired of the store to store drive i am tired and uh yeah uh but that's how mcfarlane is and we'll see if they make any changes in the future or maybe they can make exclusives just a little easier uh but we'll, we'll see how this plays out and maybe we can get if platinum figures are going to be done, maybe they can be done like very unique instead of just somewhat unique. And that that's just my problem. I do think this is kind of, it's a great figure, amazing figure. I'm excited about it, but I do think as far as platinum goes, it's kind of like, I, I don't get it why they did make this platinum uh, compared to how all the other platinums are either color changes or just being gold. This is just a head swap and that's kind of like, yeah, I don't know why you would do that. Uh, obviously, there's too many Batmans that were produced, so yeah. But overall, guys, I did hope you enjoyed this review, and I hope you guys do choose to subscribe and come back and like my videos, and I will keep doing this for you guys. I also want to kind of just add in a rating system with him, uh, and I am still kind of figuring that out. Like, I don't know if I should go with, like, you know, A through F or, like, a 10-point system or a star system uh but yeah like with, with batman here I, I would say like i guess he'd be like a b figure you know uh really great overall but the fact that it's released it's kind of like kind of brings it down a bit uh you know th there was just improvements that could have been made on its release but yeah that's all i'm gonna say about him uh i hope you guys did enjoy it, and i will see you guys on my next toy review